I am Liam, uh, CEO and co-founder with uh, Mark David Chukun of La Ruche Qui Dit Oui. And now, worldwide, little known as the Food Assembly. We give the opportunity to the greatest number of people to do the grocery directly from local farmers. Who made what you had for dinner last night? Your meal. Did your mother cook your steak? Maybe you are you that lucky. And then, where did she find that steak? Oh, maybe your father greeted the co where that steak came from. If so, you can ask him whether he know the one, the one who made the food for its co. Oh, maybe your uncle grows corn. Okay. And that specific corn was uh, given to his cows. So you can ask your uncle what kind of chemical molecule he gave to the corn to grow it. Okay, maybe your aunt is working for agrochemical industry and she knows the molecule we are talking about. In that, in that case, she is very likely to tell you not to eat that steak. But don't, don't worry, you know, um, if you want to know what's inside that steak, it is not that hard. Um, this steak is not much mysterious than your cell phone. Because food is an industrial product. Food is standardized, industrialized. To industrialize, you need to normalize. The pollution is normalized because the whole chain food is industrialized. To industrialize, you need to normalize to make the world simplistic. You need to destroy the complexity, the reality. The agro, the agro food industry normalizes the seeds, allows and forbids what you can plant. It normalizes the way we cultivate our field the tractors, the diesel we use, it normalizes the road, the size of the roads we use to transport that food, it normalizes the products we put on the soils, even it normalizes your pass, the step of your pass in the supermarket, everything is normalized. But we are safe, at the end we feel happy, we're going to find our favorite palm oil cookies everywhere in Europe. Because everything is normalized. Even the chronic diseases emerging from this industrialized food. One hypertension for all. Why? With, because it's very convenient when you want to industrialize the molecule to heal it. Why? Because the companies that are making your food are the same that are making your, medica your medication. AstraZeneca, Firma, uh, Novartis. That's, that's corporation that dominates the um, world uh, market for drugs are also the companies that are leading companies in the field of seeds, agrochemicals, and for seasoning your meals with food additives. The goal, is company, the goal of this company is in a way to fuel our diseases. And food powered by companies I think the trust is broken and also because you know the agrofood system is based on oil and tomorrow there will be no more oil so um, we can be the observers of this collapsing industry the show might even be worth it but we are here dealing with our food so we will enjoy the show on an empty stomach so here is the collaborative economy Let's act, let's react. We are going to create some blooming economic and social models endowed with a gross potential, efficiency, a form of productivity, but without any need of normalizing the world around us. Because I'm not normal, and neither are you. The world is complex and terrifying as it makes looks. But it's where strengths come from, the diversity, 
What a beauty, diversity of climate, geography, species, men and women, their culture, their accent when they speak English. Yeah. <laughs> making the world more simple, it's making the world more fragile and have it to smash us on the face, it's sure. So let's say yes to complexity. Let's say yes to local. Let's create a new food system where food is powered by people. Our food will be grown in small farms from 1 to 10 hectares. They use the techniques of agroecology and permaculture. Their very high productivity offer one job per hectare. It's 100 more employment than the present farming uh, system. The relocation of the food production re-energizes all the whole local economic system. Small kitchen units transform the raw materials into wesley, pizza, soup, without any other marketing than quality food powered by people. Education, chemical products and fertilizer that are based on petrochemical can be replaced by knowledge by some cultivation techniques. You know the agrochemical, the, the ecological permaculture, it's an agriculture based on knowledge. It's an agriculture that calls on cleverness, observation, sharing experiences between men. We are here about talking about biology, chemistry, geography, history, manual and technical education. We are talking about philosophy, poetry. This agriculture offers um, deep intellectual and, and um, spiritual fulfillment. Food poured by people. And for the hand, for the distribution, the relocation of the food production allows the direct selling to become the standard for distribution. And you will finally meet the one that made your stack and you will be able to ask him what is called hate. And what's more, you won't need any longer your mother to feel safe when you are having dinner. Food born by people. Thank you.